craziest thought, but my face has a spot for each case that I've caught. I am Skull, the greatest Protestant that ever rhymed. I had a rap battle with <laughs> the greatest Protestant that ever rhymed. I had a rap battle with Conor McGregor, and the fella died. He tried to bully an autistic man like me, like I'd let it slide, but Connor has CTE. That's the best example you'll ever find of how disabled people are the one minority that anyone can become. At any time. Time. Whereas you are Anderson Burris, and you need to get a life. Because those look like Mr. Beast's sister snakes. The same dead eyes, printed teeth, skin like a fitted sheep. Because you never face a top 20 battler that's winning the most, and the battles you've lost, they get paywalled, hidden, and closed. And that sounds like one weird OnlyFans this printer promotes, but you're not the first one selling videos where you get finished and choke. Lad, <laughs> finished and choke. Lad, you're, lad, finished and choke. Oh, that's, that's opportunistic. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Americans spend entire days. You even have individual retirement accounts when you're trying to see it. You're so obsessed with our country, you send your money to the IRA. I'm here trying to make a jump on me. Lad, that is my crowd. American Republican versus Irish Republican. No comparison fight. You might come to Belfast from out west, but this ain't Anderson's time. Lad, you're so American, even your accent is a striking drone. Lad, you're so American. <laughs> American, even your accent is a striking drone. You only came to Belfast because you read about the fighting bro and thought that all the guns would make you feel right at home. <laughs> and he cried when he learned the ceasefire was in 1994. Lad, it was 30 years ago. Why are you sore? Well, I'll give you an orc party so you can cry some more. He spends his life editing his battle clips until they're proper, just to get less views than Dr. Pimple Popper. Yo, I got a double sandwich of beast with Marketplace. Who need it? You and your girl got a joint Facebook account. Who cheated? <laughs> <laughs> you and your girl got a joint Facebook account. Who cheated? You and your girl got a joint Facebook account. Who cheated? As a kid, your parents divorced and told you you're the reason. You're a slaver, a hallion, a her. You eat it, a wab and a ganch, a, a bird, a chip even. I'm the Protestant autistic stereotype when I close your casket. I'll fucking hijack a short bus, run you over rapid. I'll fucking open my cupboard, see my toaster grab it, find you, <laughs> find you in your bathtub, then I throw it in laughing like, if you love the YouTube algorithm, why don't you go and shag it? <laughs> I, uh, I didn't know Joy France was like an option to battle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to regret this match that grew me. I really struggle with saying no. I just kind of let the staff recruit me. They said you want a free trip to Ireland? I'm like, yes, man, absolutely. Who do I have to battle? They said the chef from Ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You look dehydrated. <laughs> you look dehydrated, malnourished. You're not aging that well. This is what Mark Zuckerberg would look like if Facebook had failed. <laughs> Taking this L, please never rap. All you are is Sharon if he reset his stats. <laughs> they say they say being autistic is a gift to embrace, but if you've seen Skomo rap, you know that isn't the case. <laughs> Elon Musk is autistic and he sent us to space. Scomo's autistic and he just picks at his face. <laughs> this one's a disgrace, and I bet the truth hurts. You have to take it home with you like some extra schoolwork. He was born with bad acne, but then it grew worse because he would pick it every day like Greta Thunberg. You put makeup. You put makeup on your scabs so we don't see them peeling off. So if you're going in your bag, it's just to put concealer on. You criticize, you criticize America when you should be in love with it, because you've done so many cover-ups, you can work for my government. <laughs> I don't care about you, Scott, and I won't try to pretend to. Rappers make fun of your stabs start to cry in the venue. I don't get why that offends you. Like, bro, life will continue. I'd say you need some tougher skin, but I guess that's kind of the issue. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of issues, Scomo recently ran for office, which is inspiring stuff. He joined the Alliance Party. I'll try to liven it up. <laughs> like, if y'all seen these Irish politicians, they're as white as they come. We need more diversity in government. Which is why I decided to run. <laughs> he told them all, go out and vote. 
Every person is necessary. The reception was looking good. You would flirt with the secretary. The way he energized the voters, man, I'm sure it was legendary. Made him head to the polls like the girl from Hereditary. It's clear, <laughs> it's clear that his peers did not support their dude. He had a shorter campaign than Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Chose to step to the side. Started crying online, like, this is why I've resigned. Why are you always so dramatic? It's called an Irish goodbye. You could have just left the party without telling us why. Uh, <laughs> if you're against a united Ireland, always claiming it's bad, but I have a heart, oh, you're not. Yeah, no. Okay, then you're for a united Ireland. <laughs> Um, always not claiming it's bad, but I have a hard time believing that statement is facts. Because judging by how much your face has been scratched, it makes sense you're pro-union. They have a hatred of scabs. <laughs> I'm done making fun of his looks, I just thought it was funny. But like, ScoMo at age one is going to start to get ugly. <laughs> France, she don't want this smoke. If she's smart, she'll run from me. Cause y'all know how Americans treat old people. We put them in charge of our country. So. <laughs> American site, that's a different setting. The phone account driver that took him here had a Smith and Wesson. And this stupid bastard thought that was for his protection. Yo, did I hear you gentrify black owned battle leagues and snatch guys' slots? He came with autism bars, just like half my ops. But even Sharon thinks you're autistic because this man's quite odd. If he saw Rosa Parks and the boss, he'd say, That's my spot! <laughs> Yo, see, I'm openly autistic while well, you're on some stealth shit. A few years ago, I said. <laughs> Some stealth shit. A few years ago, I saw a girl and she got undressing. I had her screaming Bazinga, but I had one question Tell me what my name is. She said, Hung Sheldon. Yo. She loved my Jamaican sound system and sharper humor. She loved my Jamaican sound system and sharper humor. I blasted out an audiobook of the Kama Citra. Then the, I blasted out an audiobook of the Kama Citra. Then the props the other against the door, like Martin Luther. Because it's time to strike back. My dick's longer than the waiting list I asked to join, so I can find out why it's like that. <laughs> Lord Carolina, admiring God, has he stopped at becoming the land time is forgot? Where it's legal for the government to castrate shoplifters by firing squad. <laughs> Lad, you're in Belfast. One bang can beat your face over walls. Lad, one bang can beat your face over walls. You're, you probably want all women pregnant yearly till they're old and sore, and a husband stitching their lips because they're spoken for. Lad, North Carolina thinks drag queens are after kids and they'll torture yours, yet most of your churches do baptisms with chloroform? <laughs> it's so fucking backwards they try to cure autism by beating kids till they ask to die. So I'll give you a hand to the afterlife, and it's a smack for all acting right. He said that his parents being cousins instead of siblings is a big flex. I ain't saying you're right. <laughs> he said that his parents being cousins instead of siblings is a big flex. I ain't saying you're inbred, but I'll give this Habsburg fella a chin check. Kick him up on the roof like, you me a terror, dickhead! <laughs> uh, I'll strangle you with a sunflower lanyard till your brain bleeds. If you are a born again, I'll strangle you with a sunflower lanyard till your brain bleeds. If you are a born again Christian, I'll give you birthday beats. He is getting to battle in Ireland, and this dude's in back. He had a 9-11 bar last battle. Now he gets to use the famine. But Americans only make those jokes because their skills are lacking, and they don't realize potatoes make french fries, you stupid bastards. <laughs> <laughs> to take the famine jokes out your mouth, we can't let it slide, because it ain't the time for Americans to laugh at genocide. <laughs> David fought Goliath with a slingshot and a stone. Alexander fought the Persians and ascended to the throne. The British fought the Nazis in the trenches near their home. ScoMo fights the Nazis using Twitter on his phone. <laughs> this guy likes to claim 
claim that he's fighting for change, but he just whines and complains online every day. You have zero hesitation when approaching a subject that has centuries of history and cultural subtext. Nuance does not exist. The middle ground is a fascist lie. He really doesn't see color, because every issue is black and white. But when he grabs it, clouds his mind. That's why he's choking half the time. He only remembers battle lines if it's Israel-Palestine. But tonight, he has to shine. This battle's his whole objective. He hasn't slept. He's that obsessed. Every night he's been over-prepping. He's been ecstatic for this battle. Relax, man. I know you're restless. Scumbo hasn't been this excited since frickin' October 7th. But I read that Ireland... <laughs> I read Ireland is just 1% black, which was surprising to see, because my DNA test said I'm 2% African. This entire country is whiter than me. <laughs> you say America is racist, and we've done some disgusting stuff, but Ireland's just golf courses and white people. It's not a country, it's a country club. <laughs> but you're so perfect and progressive. You talk with all this vanity. Like, I'm not problematic because no one's ever canceled me. Your country's 1% black. That changes things substantially. You can't brag that you're not racist if you never get the chance to be. <laughs> That'd be like someone who spent their entire life in Mexico bragging about the fact they never insulted an Eskimo. Like, you, can't say, you can't say America is racist and black people are in danger when we don't know if your country's racist because black people are in danger. I love, I love America, but I'm not his number one fan. All right? I don't think Trump is the man. I don't like what we've done in Iran. We sold guns to Sudan. You know, the stuff in Japan. It's kind of like when Scomo picks his face. We have some blood on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, know, I, know, I, know. I, I know that we moved past that, and I'm not trying to backtrack. I said I was done picking on your face, but you know what? Scratch that. Hey! <laughs> How are you Irish, and you never get lucky at all? I think your real disability is being ugly and small. I hope you keep it in your face until all of your flesh is gone, because you put the sham in shamrock, and the leper in leprechaun. Last time, you battled Funky D in front of the London crowd, and you told him, I'm gonna call the cops if you punch me now. Lad, the one thing we don't like in Belfast as a fucking tight. Right. So why do you rap without fear about the crap that you sell? At least the hospital's free here, but like the land where you dwell, because in these parts, tighting can severely damage your health. And those are some good looking kneecaps. So those are some good looking kneecaps. <laughs> So it would be a brittle shame, because many types report loud noises followed by shooting pains. But I hear you're a quarterback, but you're not fit to scrap. You should try hurling instead, because you're quick to grasp. But does anyone notice how rich white guys and fitted tees always turn out to be the absolute biggest fiends? It's funny how Americans hate vaccines and essentially all jabs when he was using his own supply so heavy his stock crashed. Fuck a vaccine microchip. You've been sweating the wrong tracks. Another reason this pale rich kid had better get off smack. Ireland's heroes aren't addicts, but they regularly shot tan. But fuck anyone saying my autism bars are over the top or boring, because if I really were a snowflake, then you'd probably snort me. Because I, <laughs> I got called a window licker when I was up in class, but I'd rather like windows, I'd rather like windows than smoke a ton of glass. I promise you that crystal meth doesn't love you back. Lad, if you overdose some fentanyl, that's fucking class. But you're only here. You're only here. Because here in Ireland, we love the crime. Yo. Yo. Yo, but he doesn't kill cops. But in January 6th, he shot up in front of pipes. Come in a hundred other gifts angry the government exists. But the law arm of the law has no belt stuff upon a kid. Ironic, this Nazi wanker did a number on his wrist. But if you're pregnant, if you're pregnant, avoid him. He's always sniffing a bump. I if you're pregnant, avoid him. He's always sniffing a bump. I ain't throw a shoe at George Bush, but you all get cut with a pump. Lad, you told Funky D his head square. Have you glanced at yourself? You look like a Maga B rabbit made in Habo Hotel. 
Like, <laughs> you look like a man of being rabbit me if you have a hotel. Like, you kissed the blurry stone with tongue. Like, you actually scored. <laughs> bro, you kissed the blurry stone with tongue. Like, you actually scored. I will river dance in your skull till it cracked the floor, and you'll die full of yourself like a chocolate Labrador. But on a real one, <laughs> on a real one, and Ralph Anderson's no the word the hardest. So we all got you a new tar to show how you're regarded. Ignore the fertilizer and the wires below you in the carpet. <laughs> I left the key in the ignition. Why don't you go ahead and start it? Oh, yeah. Let's go! You battled Conor McGregor, and he cooked you for real. And you're a battle rapper. Not a very good one, but still. It was an audio-only battle, so we all thought you could manage. You don't have to show your face on camera, Shomo has the advantage. See, you called Connor stupid, which is difficult to prove. Then he said you were ugly, which objectively is true. <laughs> all in Shomo's court, let's see if he's got a response in him. Shomo said, yeah, you know why I'm ugly? Because I suffer from autism. <laughs> That's why you'll never be a battle rapper, because we never get offended, but you just cry and whine and hide behind your medical conditions. And dude, you started it with Connor, so that gives him the right. If you can't stop picking your face, then stop picking your fights, because you said you got into battle rap as a way to combat bullying, which hardly seems justified. It's like combating anorexia by starting a hunger strike. <laughs> Understand you're an anxious kid who's unsure of life's purpose, but there's a fine line between neurodivergent and just a nerdy white person. <laughs> I'm not saying be ashamed of your disabilities, bro. It's just weird how you collect them like infinity stones. Go see a law, go see a law firm's ad and call the request line fast. Like, have you recently been a victim of? Yes, I have. <laughs> so bad. You went viral for a line that was especially dumb. You said disabled people are the one minority anyone can become. Do you know how silly that sounds? I could be a minority if I moved to India now. <laughs> I could be a minority if I moved to India now. You could be a minority if your skin isn't brown. For example, if you're at home watching this video now and you actually think ScoMo is winning this round. <laughs> you're not the only rapper on this card who has obstacles facing them. For example, Solkhan is gay and Sharon is Canadian. <laughs> I was 10, doctors have been giving me pills. I'm battle rapping in my 30s, okay? I am mentally ill. <laughs> I'm just letting you know you're not alone. We're on stage and we're having fun. I'm not mocking your disabilities. I'm mocking your lack of one. I just think that you're acting some. It's really that simple. I look at you like Helen Keller. I just don't think you're that crippled. I mean, you're a smart... You're a smart... She either blind or deaf. You couldn't be both. <laughs> You're a smart, able-bodied kid who still calls himself handicapped, but there are people in wheelchairs who are not going to stand for that. Now, handicapped, handicapped people are oppressed. That problem is real. But it's not because of Ireland's laws and the bills. It's because of all of the hills. Y'all got to take it. Look, he came into this battle pretty sure he could win this. I'm here to ruin Scott's summer by hurting his vision. This is where your takeover stops like the Germans in Britain. Going nuclear in your town. Mr. Burns and the Simpsons. The way I killed, the way I killed this politician, I could work for the Clintons. I left my Adderall... The way I killed this politician, I could work for the Clintons. I left my Adderall at home because you're not worth the attention. Your sole, purpose, your sole purpose in living is working the system as a vain, upset, fake, oppressed, permanent victim. Pronouns, pronouns don't perfectly fit him. He's allergic to women, which is funny because he's like a girl in transition. But there's no contract for this battle, so if this nerd gets offended, I don't have to be respectful of your terms and conditions. Oh.